Uh, today's meeting uh, is a testimony of the excellent quality of the European Union and Moldovan relations and a concrete sign of our commitment to the Republic of Moldova, a modern, united, stable Moldova. Today we have confirmed our joint willingness to opening up a new chapter of our bilateral relations by signing on the 27th of June the association agreement that was initialed in Vilnius end of last year. This association agreement is about deepening democracy, improving governance, ensuring the rule of law, ensuring also fundamental freedoms. It is a major instrument to support the transformation process in the Republic of Moldova. The agreement is also about transforming the economy, opening up markets, creating a better business environment, providing the economic means to build a prosperous future for all Moldovan citizens. And I repeat that all Moldovan citizens stand to gain from this agreement. But we are not waiting for the signature of the agreement to assist and support Moldova in its reform process. On this year, we are making available 131 million euros in technical assistance. And as from last September, we have naturally granted full access to the European, um, to, to European market from Moldovan wines. But I can announce today that I have informed Prime Minister Leanka that we respond positively to Moldova's request to increase their contingent exports for some fruits and vegetables. We will now table a proposal to our uh, member states. I think this is a concrete sign of solidarity to a sector that I know is important, namely for small farmers in Moldova. And as you just witnessed, the Prime Minister and I signed a financing agreement to support the Republic of Moldova's vocational educational training system worth 35 million euros. Let me point out that Moldova has already made considerable progress in its reform agenda. And I have congratulated the Prime Minister on a very important success, namely the achievement of visa liberalization. In very practical terms, this means that Moldovans are the first among over 175 million citizens in Eastern Partnership countries to travel to the European Union without having to request a visa. This has considerable potential in terms of family, study, business context. This, this means a lot, I can tell you, for each citizen of Moldova that for the first time can come to the European Union without any kind of visa, showing how close they are, in fact, to the European Union. Energy was also part of our discussions. And I want to be clear, nobody in this region has an interest in using energy supplies as a political weapon. That would only backfire. I therefore welcome the very good cooperation between the Republic of Moldova and Romania on various common energy projects, notably their new gas interconnector, which the European Union has supported as a priority. It will be finalized in the coming weeks and it will give Moldova new alternatives, making its supplies more secure and extending the advantages of the European internal energy market. No European nation should be an energy island isolated from the European networks. And the Republic of Moldova, as a member of the energy community, should be free to choose the same rights of access to the energy internal market if it so wishes. We have also discussed the general situation in the region. Moldova is key to restore stability and to boost much-needed prosperity in this part of our continent. A key partner for the European Union, Moldova is a free and sovereign country, able to make its own choices. I have reiterated to Prime Minister Leanka the Commission's support for the Republic of Moldova's sovereignty and territorial integrity.